Every so often, a talent comes around that just has that it factor, a culmination of natural ability and attitude that puts them ahead of their fellow competition. Often a characteristic that develops over time, it is rare that that it factor is recognizable in a talent in their teens. Well, at just 18 years of age, we are seeing West Tigers rookie Lachlan Galvin already take the lead by storm. Oh, the game just just continues to produce superstars, and, and this kid is a star. What, what about that, Galvin? He would be my absolute red-hot favourite to take home this award this year. Lockie Galvin, he is in for a huge season. What he did the other day, to put it simply, guys his age, they shouldn't be doing that sort of stuff. He should be able to win Dalian Rookie of the Year in 2024. So here's the story of Lachlan Galvin so far and why he has the potential to be an NRL star. Lachlan Galvin was born with a rugby league ball in his hands. At the age of four, he would join his brother, playing a division above at the Campbelltown Collegiates. He would remain at Campbelltown Junior, moving to the Eagle Vale Rugby League Club, where they went undefeated for three of the four seasons. Going into high school, Galvin would be signed into the Parramatta Eels Junior Development System, playing for the Wentworthville Magpies. Galvin jumped at the opportunity to be within the Eels system, growing up in a die-hard Parramatta Eels family. Between 12 and 16 years of age, Galvin was within the Eels system and had his eyes completely set on one day debuting in the NRL for his boyhood club. At 14 though, Galvin was being given less opportunities to play and was told by a development coach, there are 13 positions on a football field and I can't get you in one. His father James said that we were staunch Parramatta men, but they didn't want him. I just don't think they thought he was good enough. After trying to stick it out in the Eels system, things just weren't working out and Galvin returned back to the Campbelltown region, transferring to the West Tigers junior system in 2022 for a fee of $5,000. At this point, Galvin was recognized as a talented youngster who had the potential to maybe feature in the NRL, but it was no certainty. Moving over to the Tigers, Galvin was given the job security he desired, slotting into the second row for the Western Suburbs Magpies in their Harold Matthews Cup side. Once considered too small, Galvin would shoot up to six feet and three inches, with this season proving huge for his development as he took on a high defensive workload and evolved his tackling ability. The Magpies went undefeated in 2022, winning the Harold Matthews Premiership, with Galvin contributing with eight tries across the season. Galvin was still featuring in his natural position of 5'8", for Westfield Sports High School, and it was in 2023 where he cemented his name as an elite youngster. Galvin would lead his side to the Peter Mulholland Trophy, crowning the side the best team in New South Wales, before putting on a spectacular display in the National Schoolboy Cup Final. We had two tries and two tries assists, winning the Peter Sterling Medal as the MVP and the Premiership. Shooting this all since she's seven has been a dream with all us boys, and you know, to be national champions, it's, it's a real good feeling. It's a real brotherhood, and we really come together today. After winning the biggest accolade in high school footy, he went on to represent the New South Wales combined schools and Australian under-18 schoolboy side. Galvin joined Elite Company, featuring in the halves for the Australian schoolboys, with former greats like Brad Fittler and current stars like Nathan Cleary donning that same jersey. Following the schoolboys' victory over the Papua New Guinea Junior Kumuls, Galvin would sign his first professional deal, a three-year contract with the West Tigers. Going into 2024, Galvin, like many teenagers fresh out of high school, was not expected to be a key contributor in his debut season. With a depth chart of Jaden Sullivan, fellow young prodigy Latu Fainu and Aiden Caesar, it was an outside chance Galvin would debut in round one. Following just weeks of preseason, though, it was evident that Lockie had not only the ability but physical attributes to compete for a starting spot. At his 192 centimetre size and at just 18 years of age, Galvin unexpectedly dominated the West Tigers preseason. He would lead in every fitness drill, breaking the club record for the 1.2 kilometre Bronco drill, with his fellow teammates in awe of his insane cardio. Club captain Api Korosau would say, once we saw him in action, he was killing everyone in the fitness drills. That was the thing that caught everyone's eye, and then he started playing some footy, and he's just as good at that too. Although the youngster has stated that he's always had a solid fitness base, key head coach and club legend Benji Marshall knew all too well the experience of debuting as a teenager straight out of high school. Marshall has stated continually over the preseason, if you're good enough, you are old enough, and would ultimately announce Galvin as the starting 5'8 for the Tigers' first game of the year. Coming to the preseason, did every session and won every fitness session. But as a person, like he's just a, a well mannered and well raised kid. He's got nothing to prove for us. We just need him to do his job. Gavin has arguably been the best number six across both the Tigers and NRL in their first three games of the season. Lockie has pinned his game closely to Melbourne Storm star Cameron Munster growing up, saying, I probably play a bit like him. I looked up to him a lot. Eyes up. If I'm going to do it, do it 100%. 
If I make an error, I don't get too fussed. I just play the next play and try again. Where many young footy players are now drilled to play within the structure, Galvin plays with freedom, which has been encouraged by Coach Marshall, who may be the perfect mentor for such a skill set. We saw this young naivety come to the forefront in round four, where Galvin matched up against his boyhood club, the Parramatta Eels. Facing the club that wouldn't even give him a run just three years prior, Galvin would pounce early, finding the space with a grubber in behind for the Tigers' first points. Then in the second half, an accidental but poor hip drop led to his sin bin, leaving his side a man down. With his entire family in attendance, many teenagers would crawl back into their shell playing on such a big stage. It would be hard not to. With the Tigers defending valiantly, he returned to the game, which was still in reach and made the game-winning play seemingly out of nothing. And he set up when the game is on the line, right? This is when you the big dogs usually rise up. This kid gets the ball, boom, one-on-one -on -one with Blaze and bang, smokes him. This young kid has no right to be out here acting like this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, go on, give me the ball when the money's on the line. Taking on his former schoolmate, Blaze Talungi, he would break the line and produce a worldly offload, a moment that any NRL star would hold with pride, let alone an 18-year-old. Galvin has finished his first three appearances with three try assists, five tackle breaks, an average of 100 run meters, and just one missed tackle from a total of 69. This sort of instant impact can be likened to players like Reese Walsh or Harry Grant, who burst onto the NRL scene and have gone on to have representative careers. As fans, we do have to tread carefully. We have seen plenty of young prodigies crumble under the bright lights, and it doesn't help that he is currently rostered to historically one of the most unstable NRL franchises. Despite this, that combination of footy know-how, physical ability, and elite mentorship could make Lachlan Galvin the next NRL superstar. Now, I know there's a mildly clickbait title and some insane glazing, but as a diehard Tigers fan, even if you give me the slightest glimpse of hope, I have to make a video like you're the second coming of Christ. I legally have to. Anyways, that is all for this video. Like if you enjoyed, comment down below your thoughts on what Lachlan Galvin will achieve. Subscribe to the Alpha channel for more content and subscribe to the Patreon to financially support me. Thank you for watching.